Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another live stream. I am back in my craft room. Um, I think I'm going to be crafting for the first time in a week. I've been sick. I rallied enough energy this morning to uh, wash my hair and style it, but beyond that, you get what you get. You get what you get. <laughs> What's that saying? You get what you get, you don't throw fit. This is where we're at. So while my hair looks nice now, uh, believe me, the minute I'm done here, it will be on the top of my head and I will be taking a nap. Um, yeah, anyway, long story short, we had family pictures. Uh, I guess it would be two weeks ago tomorrow, like two Saturdays ago, or tomorrow will be two weeks. And uh, we didn't know that one of my nephews had a cold. And so everyone then proceeded to get a cold. Thankfully, it's just a cold. It's not COVID or anything like that. But um, plenty of us have tested multiple times over the course of this, and no one has gotten a positive COVID result. So we're pretty sure it's just a really bad cold. But for someone who has not had a cold in like a few years, this is bad. Like I'd forgotten how bad it was. I thought I had a cold back in November. That must have been allergies because this, this is a cold. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to be using some products from Paper Cherry Inks February 2023 release. I've got a stamp set and a few dies, and let's jump into it. All right. I can be up here for a minute, right? I'm, I'm gonna milk this for all it's worth that I did my hair today. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So anyway, here are the products I'm gonna be using. Oh, this is just white cardstock. So I've got this stamp set, which is the Vase Collection 15, as well as the coordinating dies. I can't remember what this one's called, but it's basically a cover plate and it pierces little tiny little dots, little holes. So I'm gonna use that just as some texture um, like the whole of my card. So we'll get to that in a bit. I'll probably just do that. Well, I might do it on the card base. I'm not sure. So, um, that's as much as my hair that you're going to see. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So this stamp set, I had to like really look at it. This is why I have my paper here. I had to evaluate it because when it came to me, there was no packaging. I hadn't seen any examples. I have now seen examples online. But basically you have like two step stamping for each one of the flowers and then you've got two step for the leaves and you also got a two step for the bucket that the flowers go in, which I think is, you know, pretty fun. So, so I've picked out two kind of colors for the flowers and we first need to stamp the, uh, solids for the flowers. In fact, I might want more than one. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to put them right here, stamp it once, and then I'll rotate my paper and stamp it again. And uh, that'll make it so I don't have to move the stamps in my Misty. In fact, I'll do it for both color schemes because why not? Okay, so the first one is two colors of pink, hello. I've got rosy cheeks and hollyhock. So this is for the detail. So the lighter color is going to go for the solid. And I have yet to use these stamps, so I might need to stamp them twice to get really solid coverage. That looks like that'll be the case. Oh my. All right, so now I'm just going to rotate this the other way. And I'm gonna switch colors now. I'm gonna to switch to a purple. I'm just grabbing a baby wipe. And that color's light enough, I don't think I'm gonna have any issues switching colors. All right, so the purple scheme is Thistle and Wisteria. From Simon, so I'm going to go into Thistle. If I can get it open, there we go. Like opening ink pads without breaking a nail. It should be an Olympic sport. All 
Okay. Just stamp that one more time. This is also great because then I won't have to uh, reposition the darker layers as well. I'll just have to do it once. Okay. So these inks look really, really dark right now. Notice how much darker it is than the color on top of the ink pad. Uh, these inks dry back quite a bit, so they'll actually get quite a bit lighter. I'm gonna move on to stamping the leaves, and I don't know how much space they're going to need for stems and things like that, so I'm gonna keep them pretty apart from each other. Just like that, and then I should be able to rotate this also and stamp again. The colors I'm using for the leaves are Beanstalk Green and Olive. So I'm gonna use the lighter shade for the solid. Make sure that's down in that corner and then I'm gonna stamp them again. And then I'm just going to rotate. Let's see, let's make sure those are gonna be far enough away. Ooh, those are not gonna be far enough away. So, oh, I know, we'll just do this. Will that fit? It will not. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna make do, we're gonna figure something out. What if I do my lawn fawn ruler up in that top corner and then No. Haha. -ha. Will that work? Ah, that's totally gonna work. Perfect. Okay. I just wanted like a corner to really put that in so that I'd be able to stamp it. I guess I could also just use a sticky mat, but here we go. Yes, misty corners. That's what I was looking for. Lawn fawn ruler to the rescue. Alrighty, so let's go back to the flowers. And they have dried back quite a bit. They're smoothing out. They're looking really, really good. Sadly, my cleaning my crafter momentum uh, stop, halted <laughs> while I've been sick. I literally have been like watching Netflix and feeling miserable in bed <laughs> for like a week and a couple days. So sadly, the cleaning and organizing has stopped. Um, Angel Casey did bring by a whole bin of dyes that she had researched and figured out if they were discontinued or not. So there is that, but um, beyond that, nothing has continued. Okay, I've got to figure out which goes for which. It's a brain teaser. Okay. And I'm switching to the color Hollyhock. Pretty, but let's do one more because I'm not quite solid down on this one down here. Okay, and I should be able to rotate and I'm gonna clean my stamps and we will switch to the purple ink. And this color in particular, Wisteria, has gotten a lot of play on my YouTube channel this week because uh, I used it in my video that I made for Simus' stamp and then shared here as well. That went up on Tuesday. Okay, one more. Make sure it's in the corner. Gorgeous. All right, so I used Beanstalk Green before. And now I'm moving to olive. Okay, perfect. You know what I should have done? I should have stamped these multiple times to make two cards. You'll live and learn. Okay, so for this really big solid bucket, I thought it would be kind of nice to 
uh, stamp it in a light gray and then come back in with a darker gray and add just a little bit of shading on it. And I'm gonna move to a lighter gray. I thought this might happen, so I did already grab it. I'm gonna switch to fog. And hopefully this will give us a better impression. Oh yeah, there we go. And it's the lighter gray that I was kind of envisioning. Okay, so without moving the stamp, I'm gonna come in with the uh, darker color smoke, and I'm just gonna get it in that. You know what, before I do that, let's put some cards up underneath. There we go, now I can see what I'm doing. Right there, and then I'm gonna take my baby wipe and kinda clean off a bunch kinda near the top and then stamp. Hopefully that'll give us a nice little bit of shading. Yeah, I like that. It looks like rustic. Okay. Stamp this twice, this little detail. I love that, that looks awesome. Hey, okay. and then before I move on, I thought I'd do the grating right there, like there's a nice blank spot. I'm gonna switch to an even darker gray. I'm gonna use slate. And I think I'm gonna do You Make My Life So Much Brighter. It just fits right there on the bucket. I've seen a few people uh, use this same placement for their cards, and I think it just looks so great. So I thought I would do the same. All right, so I'm using the color Slate. And this is a very, very dainty word. So I'm just gonna really lightly stamp it and then I'm gonna stamp it again, just to make sure I have a really good impression. Love that. Look how tiny those words are. I love that though. My die cuts are right here. All my dies are right there. I'm going to grab another piece of white cardstock and I'm going to use this cover plate. I do not recall what it is called, but I'm just lining it up with my cardstock, which is cut to an A2 card. And I'm just going to put that down. I'm going to run that through my mini Empress. Okay. And it just has all those little little holes somewhat hard to see because <laughs> it's all white I got this um, tape from Alta new and I really have enjoyed it so I thought I would just let you guys know about it it's this I don't even know what they call it it's just this uh, thicker tape and for die cut or embossed backgrounds it's worked really really well then get right to the edge and the corners and then things don't pull up 
when you go to adhere it to your card base. I'm gonna use a, the corner of my Misty to get this adhered perfectly onto my card front. So I've got my card base here. It's already folded. Sorry, I'm not zoomed out. We'll just zoom out right now. And then I'm going to get the corner right in there and then press it down. And then it's lined up on the card front without any fuss. So, ta-da, now I have that. It's really hard to see, sorry. You can see the texture, maybe you can see the texture. I don't know, it's really bright. Um, but there is some texture on that. So this is what we do. We now take a photo. <laughs> we take a photo so we remember what the arrangement was. And then we can reference it. Also kind of like rounds it out. You could probably put some little sequins on this too if you wanted to, but I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I think if you wanted to, you could arrange this whole thing um, like on a piece of cardstock and then pop up the whole thing on foam tape. I think you definitely could do that. So, <clears throat> so here is the card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was such a simple card, easy to put together. I loved the double stamping, even though sometimes I can struggle with like the two layer step stamping, but it was a lot of fun. Got to use all those different inks and it came together really quickly. I hope you guys can see the texture on that background. I think it looks, at, looks really, really pretty. It's kind of a really fun, simple card design. So thanks so much for watching. I will be back next week with more card videos. Hopefully I'm still getting over being sick. So, um, yeah, I was hoping to have an update on my, uh, clean your space challenge for February, but I also kind of lost a week and a half. So that might kind of go into March a little bit. So March might be continue cleaning your space theme. <laughs> that might be what it is. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Mm -hmm.